So putting all that metadata information aside for a moment, let's come back to the idea of just creating a new multicam clip. So first of all, you want to select the different clips that you want to join together. So in this case, I got these three clips. I select the three clips, choose File, New Multicam Clip. And when you do that, you get the multicam clip sheet. And here, there appears to be very simple information here. You can name it. And let's just name it Silver Ring Multi cam and this check mark here use audio for synchronization now this is what it, if you do this it's going to analyze the clips audio and it's going to sync them up by aligning the waveforms and that's the same thing it uses if you choose that uh, synchronized clips command that we covered in an earlier lesson it's basically going to examine the waveforms and just align the waveforms. And this is a really uh, effective way to uh, connect your clips and to make sure that they're in perfect sync. But it is time consuming. And right now I've got very short clips. It doesn't take that long. But if you're working with a lot of footage and you already have other ways to sync it, this, you don't need to go through that process. You can uncheck that. But if you do uncheck that, it's going to use some other version of way to sync it. And it's going to usually base it on a couple of different options. If we expand this window here, use custom settings, this now shows you a whole bunch of options that you've got. And this is not just to control synchronization. You see that's just one of the pop-ups here. It also controls the clip ordering, the angle assembly, starting time code, and other elements about the clip. And we're going to cover each of these, or most of these anyway, in, in some detail. But to start, first of all, you see that each of them have an automatic setting, which is nice and convenient. If you don't really know, you can leave it on the automatic setting and it will generally do the right thing.